Short video, I've just come through Grove Park. I used to go there a lot when I lived up the centre town. I thought I'd be up here just as much, but yeah, it puts another half an hour on your walk, really. I used to see this as my garden. I just used to nip out where I lived down the bottom there and just come up round. But now when you've got to come from the other... I know it doesn't take long. It's not like going to Bridgewater or Taunton or Bristol or anything. But it does make a difference. So when you can just pop out, you have to make a bit more effort. You really do. I mean, I do do it, but... If I think, oh, I can't be bothered, that's what happens now. Whereas before, no, I'd just go out. I wouldn't even question it. But now I think, oh, do I want to lug myself all up the beach, all through town? I do sometimes cheat and get the bus. But on a Sunday, there ain't no buses. The number five don't go up near the hill. Don't run on a Sunday. I was going to do another walk. The, uh... <sighs> A walk that takes you to Breen. I was going to get the bus and then walk back. Haven't done that for a while. I mean, normally on weekends, I I try to get away from Weston, to be quite honest. I go further afield, um, which is probably what I'll be doing tomorrow and Tuesday. I've got MOT um, on... Thursday, so I won't be taking Alberta far because uh, I can't risk the exhaust becoming dislodged. It's held on by ties at the moment, but she does need a bit of a tidy up. It's a trouble when you've got to park your vehicle on the road. They get splashed, they get damaged. Um, you can't keep an eye on them. I've had various things happen to Alberta this since I moved here. Bricks thrown at her. Exhaust suddenly hanging down. Um, windscreen wipers not working. Um, God, quite a few things actually. The rubber seals pulled out from the doorways. You know, someone yanked them out. Um, yeah, I've had quite a few things done to her since I've, where I park her now. So nearly all the time. There's only the exhaust a week ago. Right, I'm walking by here up in Western Woods and um, I'm, I sometimes do the lower bit by the wall um, as if you're going towards the main hill fort. Um, and usually do it in the winter because vegetation's all down and everything. You see more features, things strip back more. Um, I know there's some, some something there, for example. Doorway into somebody's garden there. And then there's an old garden here um, with an old shed in it. I've seen deer in here before now. Um, it's quiet today. It's a lovely day for the 19th of January 2020. We're having this mild spell at the moment. It has been chilly at night. It has been frosty, a little bit of frost in the morning. But uh, anyway, I wanted to just point out this feature that I'd, I haven't really looked for them before, but this is sort of special brickwork. You know, it's definitely been carved and designed. Whether that had a hole in it once to drain water, that's what I'm thinking. But you can see it's reddish colour there and I just wonder if that was a pipe or there is a sort of damp area here I haven't noticed I'll look out for them in the future to see if there's any more of them but I haven't been looking until I spotted it it stuck out now in the summer that could have been covered in ivy and you wouldn't see it but the walls walls have got a bit like the labyrinth in David Bowie's film the labyrinth this is one of those walls, isn't it? With secrets. You know, it's just like that. My imagination always gets the better of me when I'm out. And if Sarah's with me, we're, we're even worse together. Imagine all sorts of things. It's, it makes us laugh. And it is a bit like that wall, isn't it? That's what it's a reminder of you, actually. If I touch a certain stone with a door open. 
there's a child in me, still in there. So this is um, going up as if you're going up to the main fort bit, but not, but down from the main paths, right down. And on a nice day like this, when it's not too muddy either, I'm quite surprised actually. Trees must be drinking a lot of water. There was a heat wave in the summer and they're just, their roots are just, um, but of course there are certain people who will have all these trees down if they have their way. They've already started attacking a lot of trees and uh, there are certain ones that are being kept, certain oaks are being kept, but they say they want to strip it back bare so you can see the features of the fort better. Now that's okay, but I sometimes think to myself, well, the roots and everything like that, surely they hold everything in place, you know? I can't stop looking at the wall now. So there's any other little idiosyncrasies coming out of it. Is that a secret doorway, for example? Look, there's a crack there. Is this a secret doorway? And look at that. That must have been a window. See that square bit like that? That's very deliberate, isn't it? Sheila's Adventures in Western Woods. People camp up there as well. More in the summer. They leave stuff behind them. There could be people that still have to live up here in the winter. Um, unfortunate as a society we live in and it can happen to any of us the rent landlord's only got to put the rent up ridiculous price and you're forced into reduce your accommodation even more to pay for their rich life you know so they don't really need the money they're just being greedy and they're not even considering, they just uh, sap people of everything they've got. They don't think you should have um, internet, they don't think you should have uh, any sort of vehicle. They think, well, if you can afford that, I can put my rent up. That's how their mind works. I mean, I had my own place once, and I didn't have much further to pay on it either, but anyway, I won't go into that now. This is Sheila's Reflections on the 19th of January 2020. There's a little hole, that's for foxes and badgers to get in and out and maybe a small dog. Or a small child. We're coming to open spaces now, so we can't be far now from the main hill fort. I'm sure there's a, a, a spot. Um, Where I never used to be able to get through, but it looks like, unless it's up here, it looks like um, it might be further up. Yeah, it's nice to do the whole, I do a lot of the, as you know, I do a lot of, um, a lot of this place. This used to be unlocked once as well, they, they padlock it now. But, uh, somebody's garden into the wood. Yeah, I like to get around the whole wood, and it's different times of the year. Um, the main reason for this time of year is not quite so, um, what do you call it, overgrown. If you see what I mean, it's not quite so overgrown. Uh, now, dot, dotted all about in the landscape here are sort of grain pits that were taken advantage of or used by the... Um, army at times when they were defending Bristol. They set, they put army up here. I don't know the history of all that but somebody does know and it might be written, it might be in the local library about Weston's place in the war because it was bombed, Weston was. People died. People died in the Blitz. They uh, let their bombs go over Weston. They could have done it over sea, they didn't. It was a deliberate act of murder really. I don't see killing civilians really, it's uh, families were killed, families, there was a wood family, the whole family killed, <sighs> and they're buried, they're what's left of them, or they've all got uh, like a place up in the Milton Road Cemetery where they're remembered. <sighs> Yeah, I think I might have to turn up in a minute. I've got a feeling 
that because I used to be able to get in one of these um, definitely used to get in this one that's all padlocked big time now a uh, young fit man would just put his foot on there and leap over though they're, they're not totally people proof these things I can't take my eye off the wall now looking for secret secret places look at that I wonder why someone put a stick in that bit of ivy I don't know when I've got to turn it. They might have cleared it by now. That bit where I could never get through, they might have cleared it. Um, I do feel like I'm getting closer to the main hill fort because of the openness here. Because of the openness. Like I said, it's a lovely day today. There's another door there, look. Yeah, it's a lovely day. Um, it's a calming feeling here. Another little secret stone look. Yeah, and another little one there. Definitely something going on in this labyrinth wall. It's the sort of day where you feel like having a little room off the beaten track because the thing is I live very close to the beach now but the thing is I rarely spend any time on it it's packed with people you know everyone parks along there see there's some glass there where people are trying to stop people climbing their wall see that's illegal now I think but this wall's probably covered in glass Yeah, it's packed with people, Weston. Uh, th this is where I, the sort of places I come. Um, only sort of local people would probably do explore here. Oh yeah, I can see some people now over there. They probably won't even see me. Oh, there was a rock in there a minute ago. Yeah, he's still there. There he is, look. He's waiting for me. Yeah, somebody roaming about there. Yeah, that's the hill for it. I think I managed to get through. Um, I think I managed to get through that place that used to be blocked. Yeah, let's see, it's all, it's all been stripped back. They've done such a lot of stripping. Actually, it might even be further down here that it's blocked. I can't really remember, tell the truth. I'd have to look at the old videos to know. Yeah. Yeah, they certainly are. Attacking this place, there's a big old tree there. They might even have to take down some of those big trees, they told me. That seems terrible. What I'm going to do is see how far I can get. I've got a feeling I can still do quite a bit yet. Mm. That's all part of the fort there. That's the main hill fort. And then there'll be lots and lots of stones built up further up. I'm just going to turn off, take a picture a minute. Be back on again in a minute. But I'm going down this. Right, over and out for a minute. 